looks like it could be Shadow. There's definitely no Dewlap that we would see on Tingana and it's a small cat. So I would imagine that this is Shadow, which is great news. So there we go, tail up. Just because the grey go away birds are calling at her and going, go away, go away. And so she's putting her tail up to tell everybody, I'm not hunting you, stop shouting at me. But that does look like Shadow to me. I'm just going to see if I can stop but she's really pacing very very quickly now the problem is is that I'm hoping that she's going to cut to the right of this road because if she starts going left she's going to go into an area that we can't drive so we need her just to keep going and then turn to the right but like I say that small head and small body I would hazard a guess at shadow I need to see her face and also you can see as she's walking look at the stomach swinging so that's the milk for her cubs so this is most definitely her and how exciting that we've bumped into her I wonder where she's going and what she's doing she might just be on a territorial patrol because of the fact that there's been so much of this rain Brian I'm just gonna go over this bump here quickly so let's I'm just gonna try and see if I can pull up alongside of her and maybe get in front of her so that we can reverse as she goes as well as you can see she's scent marking so there we go with this rain that we've had you'll find the cats are going to be out and marking their territory but now that I've pulled up alongside her it is most definitely shadow and how exciting is this I'm hoping that she's going to come onto our side and we're going to end up with a situation where maybe she's going to have the cubs somewhere where we can actually see them I'm sorry my girl so like I say we're just going to go forward and then try and get ahead of her and then we're going to reverse with her so that we can see her beautiful face She's a very cute little leopard. She's got small, small body and small face and very, very small features. Sorry, Brian, I'm, I'm bouncing you around in the back there. We have to go quite far ahead of her because she's really pacing at the moment. Now she's just stopped. Seems like she's watching something. No, don't go in there, my girl. No. So she's now crossing into an area that we can't go to, which is not ideal at all. But it might be just to see something. There is a termite mound right here, so she might be just heading towards there to get a bit of elevation to see what's going on. Come on, girl, come back. She's heading straight towards this termite mound at the moment, so I'm hoping that she's just going there to see what's happening. And like I say, unfortunately, this is now out of our area, so it's not a place we can follow her. No, Shadow, come back. <laughs> I think we're going to lose visual of her. What do you think, Brian? And it looks like she's going straight west at the moment she's gone behind this mound now so I've lost sight of her at this stage but let's go back a little bit it does open a little bit this mound is quite a popular mound I've had Tingana on this mound I've had shadow there she is she's on top there you can see her there Brian nice so you see, look, she's got her lips curled back. She's busy sniffing around. And like I was saying to you, I've seen Tingana on this mound more than once. And I wonder if he didn't scent mark there. And that's what she's busy sniffing. She can smell another leopard. And she's curling her lips back to get that scent into the little pits on the roof of her mouth that form the organ of Jacobson. And that organ is able to analyze the chemical scent that she's picking up. So it's going to tell her, is it a male? Is it a female? Is it a territorial male? And so she can basically glean all of this information just from the scent that was left behind. And look how she's rubbing her face. So she's rubbing all over that to say that this is my territory. I am here. And so if Tingana or any other leopard comes across, they'll know that this female is in this area. I think they also just like it because it looks like it's quite fun. You know, rub their face all over and alleviate any itches on the cheek area. And there she's scent marking. See, she's scraping her back legs and she'll be urinating at the same time. So she's 
basically depositing urine into the soil. The reason why they scrape out like that is because a bit of urine will go on the feet, but also they open up the soil and that allows for the urine to soak and to actually the scent to last a lot longer. She's unfortunately turning the complete wrong way now. And I think that's all we're going to get of her. I'm just going to go forward a little bit. 